so welcome everyone to my channel once again today i will talk about regression analysis uh, using a trend line technique so graphically how we can do the regression analysis i have chosen a data set uh, for a weather forecast uh, for for next two weeks for example and i have uh, on the top you can see several columns uh, with days which is spanning to in total about two weeks and i have two rows of minimum temperature and maximum temperature and we can see that every day the minimum and maximum temperature is varying compared to the next day or the incoming days and once we will plot this uh, data uh, you will see that it's really a very very scattered data and if uh, you can assume for example um, that if you really have large data sets it's not very easy to predict uh, or forecast uh, manually you can do that analytically but uh, WPS um, and other tools like Excel and Google Sheets have, uh, are offering this uh, option so we will just start we will our select our data set both the rows and we will just choose to insert a scatter plot as you are seeing on the screen so it's simply uh, an XY plot so we are just plotting minimum temperature versus the maximum temperature and we can see that um, uh, that the data series which is shown on the graph is really scattered and it's really non-linear behavior and once you right click your data series uh, you see this option add trend line and once you click it by right clicking you can see um, a trend line which is just um, kind of um, going through your data series based on based on the function which uh, which is selected so at the moment trend line is showing which is based on the linear equation and we can also show the equation which is used you could even show the, um, the accuracy which is r square and the accuracy is showing you the um, uh, the, the, the trend line uh, behavior based on the data available so in other words um, the r square is showing you how accurate is the regression analysis based on the data available you can also um, change uh, the way it is calculating or doing the regression analysis uh, you can go from linear to much higher order polynomial equations so you can um, choose or select um, higher order equations uh, by just selecting the trend line once again and at the moment uh, X, uh, the, the program is using uh, the linear function which is a default and you could even if you want you can even give an, a customized trend line name another important feature is that if you don't have the data available uh, for your data set like if you wanted to see um, or forecast the data before your data set points or and after the data set points it has an other great functionality which is called forward forecast and backward forecast and then it's up to the user how do you really want it to uh, fit the data so the curve fitting or the data curve fitting can be done using much higher polynomials like increasing the number of polynomials important thing once again here to note down is the accuracy which will uh, uh, be determined by using the r square value so if you even increase the higher order polynomial but you still don't increase the value uh, of the accuracy it's i would not recommend then going for further higher polynomials because um, then uh, there is no change even in the trend you are just increasing the polynomial and the equation is getting complicated you can see also in the chart plot if we increase the polynomial to about five it's a very complicated equation but on the other side um, just uh, uh, just stay with the default values even with polynomial uh, uh, trend line option uh, most of the cases um, if you really have a, not really a very highly non-linear uh, terms then maybe a linear interpolation or linear regression uh, uh, option uh, should be uh, should be really perfect so um, with this method now um, you can uh, do the regression analysis graphically obviously there are other methods which you can even do analytically you can use uh, different formulas uh, empirical formulas and functions and to get the regression analysis for your um, uh, values and you can even also do a forecast uh, uh, also analytically 
so with this i will conclude my video session and i would like to know if you uh, how did you find this video and if you have any comments please write in the comment section so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the next uh, incoming videos bye bye